What's good YouTube? It's your boy Trevi Trev and I'm back with another video. I just wanted to make this quick video because you know I had an interesting week last week and I wanted to make this video and explain to you guys the importance of self-control and the importance of having restraint and the importance of controlling your actions and your emotions and your feelings because I had a really interesting week last week. A lot of challenge, a lot of you know difficulties and a lot of like how you say um basically just testing my will because you know i i had a, a rough week last week but then the week ended up turning out really really good because you know i controlled my emotions and i got rewarded for doing that by by life because i'm not gonna lie to you last week was not it because i was getting challenged at work i was getting challenged by people with attitudes i was getting challenged over and over and over again and then in the past if i would have faced these similar challenges I would have exploded like i would have went off i would have got fired or i would have just stood up for myself in a way that would have landed me in trouble or gotten gotten me to face consequences that i wouldn't want to but instead i've grown i've matured i kept my cool i was stoic because you know i read marcus aurelius's meditations and that's helped me a lot in life and you know i just let it i let it wash over me like a water over stone and, you know, I feel like a lot of us can do that nowadays because, you know, we're so quick to react emotionally. We're so quick to lose our cool. And that has consequences in life. Like, look at look at a lot of these news stories in Florida or Texas. You always see someone going to jail for something stupid or something wild. And you wonder why that is. It's because they didn't control their emotions and they didn't control their heads. And you know what? I want you guys, my viewers, to always control your heads and your emotions because, I'm going to be real with you guys. I used to not always be the most controlled, calm, and measured person, but I learned how to balance that out by being responsible, going through things in life, and understanding that even though I can do something, I don't have to. You know, I should show restraint. I should show control over myself because I can easily go word for word with someone over and over again, or I could just physically overpower someone. But you know what? There's no benefit to doing that. It just makes me an ass and it makes that person win because they controlled my mind to make me do something I didn't want to do. And you don't ever want to be like that in life because that's how you become a pawn. And you don't want to be a pawn. You want to become a king or a queen or someone who controls their emotions in every action that they take in this life. Because this life is truly our oyster. And we got to learn how to say, you know what? This is my this is my space. This is my my position. I'm going to do my role and I'm going to just keep control and not lose my control even though other people try to get me out of character. And you know, I learned that a lot from reading the meditations. I also learned a lot from Kratos. If you guys played the video game God of War, Kratos is literally the God of War. Like he goes around fighting, he's angry, you know, things like that. But in the new games, he had a kid, he mellowed out. He learned to show a lot of restraint and control because he had a kid and he had to change. And also he saw the errors of his way. So he wanted to become better. And we should all be like that as well, because, you know, you're not the same person from the age of zero to five. You know, you change over time in your life. That's what I'm trying to get at. So you're not the same person from age zero to five. You're not the same person from 18 to 25. So you got to learn to mature. You got to learn to say, you know what? I failed at this moment, but I could grow from that and I could become better now. And I feel like I'm a living example of that because, you know, I had a lot of challenge at work. And, you know, in the past, I would have reacted emotionally, but I kept it. I kept it cool. I controlled my emotion. I felt that emotion and then I let it go. And, you know, I understood the fact that, you know, I could have reacted this way. I could have did this. I could have did that. But it's not worth it. You know, I showed that self-control, that restraint. And then, you know, I felt weak in the moment. But, you know, when I look back on it, I was happy and proud because I didn't lose my job and I didn't lose my cool. And, you know, I was constantly tested. And then this weekend, I also was tested because I went to a party. And then, you know, I always tell you guys the how I, I'm sober. I don't drink or smoke anymore. But this weekend, I had a little oopsie. And, you know, I, I had a little bit to drink and I had fun or whatever. But you know what? I'm going to get right back on my path because I, I, I believe in being transparent and real with myself. And I understand that, you know what? I'm not really a drinker, but I messed up there. And I'm going to get back on my grind of being sober because, you know, I was just having a little fun and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I showed restraint and control and I didn't do anything wild like I did in the past. But, you know, still still team, no drinking, no smoking. But, you know, I go through mistakes. I'm not I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. And, you know, I'm just going to keep growing from that and learning from that. And, you know, I'm going on vacation. So that'll be another test for me to show restraint and control and, you know, basically just do what I got to do. But. It's important to be real and transparent with yourself when it comes to self-controlling yourself because only you understand yourself internally. 
And when you understand yourself, you can become your best self. And that's mainly the message I wanted to get at today because a lot of people think failure is final and, or they think that you have to be this super controlled person all the time. But sometimes things happen and sometimes you do fail, but you gotta learn from those mistakes and you gotta grow to the ideal person you want to be. And that's basically the video I wanted to make today. I hope you guys are having a good one. You know, I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and I hope you guys are controlling those emotions because we all face these things in life, whether that be with our personal lives, our jobs or whatever. But to get where we want to be, we have to show that control, that maturity and that ability to go beyond what we what we think we are. So that's just mainly what I wanted to say. And I want you guys to like, comment and subscribe and tell me some things you're working on in terms of self-control and your dreams and aspirations in life. But thank you guys for tuning in. It's your boy Trevi Trev, and I'm signing out. Thank you.